Good morning, everyone. Today is February 15th, 2024, and the topic is prayer. The Bible text is from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16 to 19. Let's take this short prayer together. God, we thank you. We honor you, Father. Give us understanding of your message in the name of Jesus. Amen. So Ephesians chapter chapter six, Ephesians chapter six, verse sixteen to nineteen says, "Above all, taking the shield of faith, we are with ye shall be able to quench all the fight, all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God." Pray always. With all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching their hand to with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Hallelujah. So the memory verse is from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 19. And it says, And for me, that utterance may be given out of me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. So you can see from here that Apostle Paul is, is, one, is, the one, is the one who wrote the book of Ephesians and was talking about that 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 him receive utterance because there are some things he couldn't say there are some mysteries he couldn't say so he waited for utterance uh, sorry he sorry he waited for for himself to receive utterance from god so so that so that he could open his mouth to speak the mysteries or the mystery of the gospel message from her text we see that the apostle mentioned three more constitutes of the whole hammer of God that believers must put on to withstand the wiles of the enemy. We have the shield of faith, the armament of salvation, the sword of the spirit, and prayer. Today, we will focus on prayer. What is prayer? Prayer is a means of communi of communing with God. It is not necessarily a, me a means of asking and receiving, but it is a true of fellowship. Jesus commands us to pray, and he also laid the example for us to follow. Prayer is a way of is a way we enforce our God given authority over the enemy. We must pray. However, we must know that there are things that make prayer ineffective. First is unforgiveness. Jesus said, if you don't forgive others, God will not forgive you. And the psalmist say that God doesn't listen to sinners. So it is essential for you to forgive anyone who has wronged you before you pray. Also, disobedience makes prayer ineffective. You should never try to use long hours of prayers to bribe God over an instruction he gave you that you have refused to obey. God says to obey is better than sacrifice. God doesn't delight in how much prayers as he does in obeying his word. Therefore, when the word of God comes to you, there is just one thing to do. Obey. Before we continue, let's take the short break. Excellent and successful. I am young, excellent and successful. I am young, excellent and successful. I'm for Christ, I will live for Him, I will fulfill destiny. Welcome back. When you pray, don't be like the hypocrite who shout and scream so that others can hear them. 
ensure that your heart is right with God and also believe you will surely receive the reward of your prayers. So, as Christians, we should pray. And when you pray, don't pray like how the hypocrites do. How the hypocrites do. Pray, we are praying, make sure your heart is right with God. If you sin against God, ask Him for forgiveness. And if you have, of all, and if you have of forgiveness in you, you should make it right with the person by forgiving the person who has sinned against you. Who offended you? So the scriptural truth. Prayer is an act of communion, of communion with the Father. Prayer is an act of communion with the Father. Prayer, prayer point. Lord, teach me to pray. So take five seconds to pray this prayer with me. Lord, teach us to pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, thank you for listening to this program and watching this program. I say God bless you and bye bye. Excellent and successful. I'm for Christ, I will live for Him.